It's so funny because we want to rush, we want to get to the goal, but often the real golden nuggets are picked up along the journey. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, oh my goodness, we're almost there. One more day to go of the glow up challenge. Ah, oh. I don't know how that makes me feel. That makes me feel really like, oh, it makes me kind of emotional, but thank you so much for doing it with me. You've been smashing it. Today is the active rest day, so get out on your bike, on your bike, love. <laughs> Oh, sorry, that wasn't really funny. Um, get out on your bike, go swimming, go for a walk, do whatever you've been doing on your active rest days and let me know in the comments what you get up to because I love to know. I love to snoop me in the comments like this. Oh yeah, Sandra went to play some tennis. Very nice. Um, so yeah, let me snoop on you. Let me know in the comments. Grab a tea. We're about to go in. As you know, our mindset, the way we think, the things we believe, the way that we approach this challenge is so, so important. And as we near the end of the challenge, I wanna to talk to you about a topic that is very dear to my heart, something that I've had to learn, I struggled with, and it is the topic of patience. Patience is key. Do you wanna know what my least favorite saying was growing up? It was the saying, patience is a virtue. I hated it. People, like, I genuinely think, oh, that is the most annoying thing when people say that. Usually because people would say it as an excuse as to why they weren't on it. So it literally, I would be like seven years old and someone's like, patience is a virtue. And I'm like, oh, you could do your job better. <laughs> like, I would literally be like, I don't, know, I don't know what is wrong with me. My pet peeve is incompetence, and that's something the Lord is helping me with. Um, but yeah, I remember any time people would say that saying, I would always associate it with a lack of competence because it was always used as an excuse as to why something is delayed. And so I was like, mm, is patience a virtue or is uh, competence a virtue? However, I must repent because people, whoever made up that saying, it is absolutely right. Like, Patience is a virtue and it almost like breaks my heart to say that because I'm the kind of person, I want something yesterday, I know, I know. <sighs> it's not even just that I want stuff to be yesterday, it's like I'm willing to work for it to have arrived yesterday as well. It's not like I, I feel entitled to it. It's like, no, no, I'll do everything. I'll do everything I need to do in this 12 hour period, but I want that result immediately. And that's just not the way life works. It's not the way our bodies work. So. Whatever your goal is on this glow up plan, um, whether it is to um, get stronger, get fitter, lose weight, gain weight, whatever your, if you have those kind of goals, maybe your goal is to simply complete it. And that's a great goal too. But if you're looking for a certain change, um, I really want to encourage you to have patience. And I think that the way that we approach this is really important. So when people set timed goals, so impatient goals, when they say, I want to be fit for summer, I want to look this way for my wedding. When we dig down to the depth of it, often we actually don't really want those goals. And what I mean is that no one, no one actually wants to be fit for summer. They just want to be fit. So it's not about, oh yeah, I'm fit for summer and then winter I want to go back to the way I was. No, most people want to be fit all the rest of their life. They want to look good, feel good the rest of their life. They want to look after their body long term. And so when we put a time limit on it that, uh, that is impatient, it often doesn't fit with the time limit of science. So how our bodies change, our bodies change relatively slowly uh, compared to what we often want. Say if you set yourself a two week goal or a four week goal even that you're going to see these changes and then it gets to that day and you think, oh, I haven't seen those changes. That is really discouraging, especially when you've put in the work. You've done exactly what you were supposed to do and you haven't seen the change. It's like, why is that? And I just want to say that actually it's not your fault. It's not you. It's not that, oh, you've not worked hard enough or you've not done this. It's just the way life is. You're not going to change 20 years of living with two weeks of dieting. You're not going to change four years of living with four weeks of dieting. That is not the way our bodies work. When someone comes in to see me at work and they've had sudden weight loss, so they've had sudden weight loss where they've lost a lot of weight in a short period of time, I'm worried. That is literally a red flag symptom. You'd be worried that they were unwell. Um, so it is a good thing. <laughs> it's a good thing that our bodies take time to change and time to adjust to different ways of living. And it's not 
not something that you can rush. It's not something that you want to rush even. I know that a lot of us think, no, no, I definitely want to rush it. I want to be fit for my wedding. But I just want to encourage you that actually adopting the patient mindset is what's going to enable you to not only reach that goal, but sustain it. If you rush and you rush, 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 you get into that dress size for the wedding, the chances are you had to do a load of stuff back here in that four weeks, whatever the quick period of time was, that is not what you need to be doing in order to maintain that weight. And so when we choose the patient longer road, what we're doing is we're learning skills, we're developing the mindset, we're learning skills that will enable us to sustain our goals, to sustain that healthy lifestyle. If you adopt starvation techniques, anything that makes you rush too much, so people often cut out whole food groups or starve themselves or whatever the fad diet is in order because they're impatient and they just want to reach their goal, um, it's not sustainable. And so you're gonna end up back in square one. And so, you know, life has a way of teaching us patience when we try to cut the corner and rush things. You often end up with a shoddy job, <laughs> you really do. So I wanna encourage you to be patient with yourself. Like you are worthy of patience. Like four years from now, you're gonna be four years older either way, by God's grace. So let's be four years older and knowing how to live a sustainably healthy life, knowing how to eat healthily with self-control. So, you know what, actually, I don't really want to cut out all carbs because I want to be able to live a healthy lifestyle while eating carbs. So I'm going to patiently learn how to do that instead of rushing. Um, that's just an example there. But yeah, I really want to encourage you that Things take time and that is a good thing. And often it's so funny because we want to rush, we want to get to the goal, but often the real golden nuggets are picked up along the journey. And if you could skip the journey and get straight to the goal, you would have missed out on all these golden nuggets that you, you, you would have just missed out on all of them. It's like, oh, actually, do you know what? It's better not to rush. It is better to take your time and be patient with yourself and go through the trusted, steady, certified path because that is what's going to get you the results that you truly want. If you've gotten to this stage in the plan and you're thinking, oh, do you know what? I want to see more changes more quickly. I just want to encourage you don't worry about it. Don't rush yourself. You are exactly where you need to be. The fact that you have picked up this plan and you have shown up for yourself day after day, the fact that you are sat here with me now, oh my gosh, you are capable of whatever you choose. Do you know how few people manage to do that? How few people manage to pick up a plan and actually do each workout and power through and see it through to the end? You are powerful. You are absolutely powerful. And it's just a matter of time. If you carry on showing up for yourself daily, you will absolutely get there. It's just a matter of time. The time is passing either way. So enjoy the process. I often find that once we reach our goals, it's then that we'll sit back and we'll reminisce and say, oh, I remember this part of the journey and this struggle and this that and and it's like actually why not appreciate it while we're on the journey knowing that we'll get there because we will we've got this um there's no rush and you're doing amazingly well i'm so so incredibly proud of you and i hope that you're proud of yourself too and um, so just to encourage you as i encourage myself there's no rush it's not a race like each moment is for living and for just cherishing and thanking god for that we have these moments there's absolutely no rush and you're doing so well i'm so proud of you i don't want to stop talking because i know that this is the last mm, it's the last little pep talk of the glow up plan um but don't worry there'll be more videos on my channel of course and if there are any other topics that you want me to cover then let me know in the comments but for now i just want to say I'm so proud of you, like so, so proud of you. Have a beautiful day. Um, I love you so much and I will see you soon. <laughs> Bye.